In this lesson, we're going to learn how to write simple regular expression pattern matchers in Java. And then in the next few lessons, we'll increase the complexity of what we do with the regular expressions. But for this particular lesson, I just want to introduce you to the fundamentals. So we're going to call this program regex1.java. First thing we need to do is import the regex classes. So we need to type java.util.regex.star. To get started, we're going to create a string to match against. So we wrote now is the time or now is not the time. Then we need a pattern to search for. We're going to start off very simple with just a word, now. The word now is all we're going to search for in this string. We will increase the complexity of these regular expressions as we go through the chapter. But we're going to start with a very simple pattern now. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a pattern object that compiles our pattern. In other words, it puts it in a form that the regular expression engine can use. So that's what we do right there. So now our pattern is compiled into the pattern object pattern. I know that's a little bit confusing, but it actually is easier to understand using the same words for the objects as for the class. Next, we need to create a matcher object. We're going to call it just match, though. That puts our pattern and combines it with our string to create a set of matches, if there are any. And of course, it could be that there are none. We're going to find that out here in just a minute. Of course, we can tell from this example that there will be. First thing I want to do is print out my string, so I'll have that to look at for output. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use one particular method for working with matches called find. And I'll stop here for a second and explain. Find will go through the string starting at the first character and look for matches of our pattern in the string. And every time it finds it, it's going to mark the index location where it found the match, the starting index location. So our first starting index location should be position zero. We'll see as we go through the program what happens. And what we're going to do is we're going to print out a message. And the way we return that index position is with a method called start. Start returns the index position where the match starts, hence the name. So let me check my parentheses, make sure I've got the right number. I do. And the second thing we're going to do is print out the actual match itself, primarily because I want to introduce you to another method called group. And group returns the sequence of characters that the regular expression matched. So we'll close off the while loop. Close off main and close off the class, and we're ready to compile and run. So let's save our program, go back to our command prompt, compile it, and then run it. And it says we found now at zero. The match is now found now at 19. That's the second now. And the match is the word now. So again, this is how we set up regular expression processing. We create a pattern object. We create a matcher object. And of course, we have some type of string to match against. We have some sort of pattern that we're looking for. And then in some way or other, we execute the regular expression. Now, of course, there's other ways to work with regular expressions, and this is just the easiest way to introduce the subject. But now I'm ready to move on to the next lesson, where we're going to look at creating patterns, primarily, or regular expressions with a little more complexity.